Hello everyone and welcome to another Computer Software Is Your Friend tutorial. Today I will show you how to get Mac OS X on a P5 KPL CM system, which is my primary system. So now you're going to hit F8 repeatedly until you get this boot device menu. And uh, you now you're going to see I have quite a bit going on here. But the only thing that's really important is the USB that has my bootloader. Now, of course, this computer does have a DVD drive, so that means that I can use the IATCOS disk, which I have burned in the, in the previous, in the, in a netbook tutorial, uh, I actually showed you how to make all of these. And uh, so, yeah, I could have used this. However, it is just so much faster by USB. Just the only con of using the USB installer is that well, unless you do it in a Mac, you uh, will not have a bootloader on it. So you have to get another bootloader. So I'll be using NBI. I know it is m meant for netbooks, but it works on this machine. So I'm actually um, happy about that because I actually like NBI. So, so I'm going to choose my one gigabyte NBI drive. You're going to choose your bootloader. And as you can see, there's another USB to Lexar. That's eight gigabytes. That one has Snow Leopard. Now, I do have the intentions of getting Lion on this thing. I actually do have the Lion disk uh, burnt. Except uh, it won't boot right off the bat with any bootloader. So uh, for now, we're just going to uh, try and get to Snow Leopard uh, and get to 10.6.8. Here's uh, here's hoping for luck, but we're going to start the installation, and uh, as you can see, the bootloader is now going to start loading. It's doing that spinning thing. It's going to spin again, and then it's going to open it, and of course, you're going to see several hard drives, because of course, this is my main system, so I have two hard drives in here, and I have three partitions. As you can see, I have my Windows 7 partition here. This is uh, my files. This is not a boot partition, but it detected it anyway. This is where I'm going to be installing Mac. Uh, if I can focus a little better. And essentially, this is, uh, I named it Mac OS X. And here, on my far right, is the IACOS USB, which is what we're going to be booting off of today. So using your arrow keys, you just toggle over there and you hit enter alright so I'm gonna hit enter in a second I just want to refocus this out because the boot uh, will be fast so um, now we're gonna get that apple and uh, it, it, it doesn't really take long to boot I'm surprised it took a while on my netbook but then again that's a netbook um, now about the specifications of this machine it's a dual core and yeah, within 20 seconds this thing has booted. That's amazing. It's even faster than Windows. So now I'm going to take my mouse. Uh, and the other one I was using a trackpad to do all the, this. So I'm going to choose English as my main language. I'm going to hit, hit next. And uh, I'll just focus in a bit. It's usually better when I zoom in at a certain level. So uh, here's my Atcos S3 DVD um, with 10.6.3. Now before I do anything anything at all I'm gonna go to the utilities menu which is right up here and the first thing I'm gonna choose in that menu of course there's a whole bunch of stuff there's the bootloaders the password reset the restore from backup well, I don't have a backup um, and of course system profiler well we could if you want we can see system profiler but that's no big deal uh, of course the terminal but I want this utility I don't want to ramble either <laughs> um, so here is this utility. Um, I'll just refocus this. And as you can see, I have all my hard drives right here to the left. I have my internal one, which is 250 gigs, my um, newest edition, which is 750 gigs, which is where I have found 100 gigabytes to make a Mac partition, which is right here. Now, uh, I could have made my Mac partition here on the, on the internal. I mean it's it's 250 gigs and it's pretty well overfilled and I didn't feel like fighting with Windows today although if you if you want to do a boot on the same hard drive you can you just gotta go through Windows make another partition 
and um, then mark that partition as active and then go into the install like what I'm doing right now and take that partition format it which is what I'm going to do in a second and then uh, go ahead and install but I mean if you have a secondary hard drive that just saves you a bunch of work um, now of course another option if you if you use the GWT table instead of the MBR table for the uh, partitioning is if if you really want to convert it to a Mac, although I don't I I don't want to. Um, you basically then can do all of the work here, where essentially you just take the hard drive, you partition as grid, and then you you make your Mac partitions, and one of those partitions will be for Windows. This means that all of your partitioning will be done in Mac OS X from that point on. But I'm going to keep Windows as the primary because again, this this um, hardware is really meant for PC, it's not for Mac. But hey, uh, why not run back? It's 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 a cool experiment. It worked on my netbook, and uh, I mean, look, here's my netbook. You might, if if you're the same viewers who watched the uh, the first series, this is my netbook, the Acer Aspire One. It works, and I'm using pretty much the exact same uh, method, but I might be uh, tweaking the settings that I choose. So. Um, we're going to choose the Mac OS X partition and of course you can see all your other stuff but that doesn't matter so now what you're going to do is you're going to go over here and you're going to click erase in the eraser you're going to go down here it's not going to be selected for you so you're going to choose Mac OS, X, Mac OS extended and make sure that it's journaled that is important you can name it whatever I'm going to name it Mac OS X I think that's the most suited name for it um, and now I'm going to simply erase. Now, this should not affect any of your other drives, but I mean, it's always best to be backed up. And I am backed up, so no reason to care. So it's going to erase. It's going to take a little bit of time, hopefully not much. Um, and this is live, by the way. I mean, it, it's going very fast. It's ready. It's done. It's ready. We're good to go. So now what you do is you click the X in the top left corner, or you go to Disk Utility and quit. All right. One of those two will get you back to the installer, which is right here. Now, we've seen this installer before. We've just never seen it on a big screen and with a mouse. So continue. Of course, there's the IATCOS uh, README, which gives you some info. I don't really need that. So now, of course, you've got all of these hard drives to choose from. Obviously, you're not going to install it here or here or here. Obviously, something with it with an exclamation mark is not going to be the place where you're going to choose to install. So you're going to choose Mac OS. So from this point, you click Customize. Now, I'm going to. What you do is you unselect the bootloader because that could cause problems in the long run leaf patches alone and the only place you want to really focus on is the drivers is Voodoo. now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the Voodoo PS2 for your keyboard and Voodoo Power State for power management if you have laptop hardware you're going to choose that and whatever you do don't choose NTFS 3G because it will screw up your updates then you're going to want to get your network um, kek installed uh, for my computer it would be an Athros and then hit OK then of course you make sure that you're installing on the right hard drive and click install it should take around 15 to 30 minutes uh, that time there isn't uh, accurate and it will use big first this has been another computer software is your friend tutorial uh, please rate, subscribe, and like, and in the meantime, you can read our tutorial and other tutorials. Thank you.